Live from Unknown Artist Studios. Malware development with Dan May. Now he is your host, God. Yo, what's good? What's good? This is Dan May. We in the house. How we feeling, crowd out there? Y'all doing good? So today we're going to be baking up some good old homemade process injection brought to you by your boy. Before we get started, everyone out there that's watching needs to have a basic understanding of a process in a thread. For the purposes of this video only, a process is just a group of threads and a thread is a task that we need to execute. But go and get a proper definition after the video because you owe it to yourself. Now, let's talk about what is a process injection. Simply put, we have a process, we need to allocate space for our shell code that we need to execute and then we need to create a thread so we can execute that shell code. Now let's get into the ingredients we will need. We need a P-Void, which is a pointer that has no type. That can be any type. We need 4D words, which are long numbers. We need shell code, which is a character array. And we need the size of that character array. Now, for the API calls, we will be using open process virtual alloc x write memory, write process memory and create remote thread x all of these can be hooked so we're going to piss windows defender off here i know but that's all it's all good because if you stick around and you like and subscribe to the video and the channel you will see me evade the fists in the future you're gonna learn a lot of cool shit so let's get straight into the code so as you see, we already have some things to set up from Crow's video on process injection. If you're not subscribed to him, go ahead and subscribe and actually watch his video as well. He gets in better depth than I do with this stuff. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and declare our P void for allocated memory space. Next, we want to declare our D words for victim process IDs and victim thread ID as well as our handles for our victim process handle and our victim thread handle. After this, we're gonna go ahead and put our shell code into our project. Once we do that, we need to capture the size of our shell code. After we do this, we need to error check to ensure that the user uses our tool correctly. <clears throat> Next, we want to get a handle to the process. We want to error check to make sure that there is a handle to get. Next, we want to allocate our memory space in the victim process. This will flag on Windows Defender, just FYI. So we really need to turn that off. Once we've done that, we now need to write our shell code to the victim process of memory. Then we need to get a victim thread handle. Need to wait for single object and then finally we need to close the handles for the victim thread in the victim process So once we do that, we're gonna run it and we should have our reverse shell and we're gonna run who am I 
and host name and all that shit just to verify we got we need there now for cool shit that's on github mal dev academy has something called christmas which when i look at the code it seems like there are five processes that are ganging up on this little victim process and each of them are taking turns writing threads trying to manipulate the process the code is pretty fucking dope it goes to show you that in the maldev realm this this field that we're in by the way i'm super new to there's a lot of room for, a cre for creativity which is why i got into it and i don't think i'm letting go at least no time so shout out to crow and his youtube channel if you're not subscribed go over there and subscribe you'll see that he has a process injection video as well i took pretty much everything that he was talking in that video and put it into this video so it's a little bit of plagiarism going on but i had to give him a shout out because he's a dope filler and he does this thing with the videos what can i say so that's all the time i got tune in next week when we're gonna go deeper into this endeavor what we call it journey and we're evading some more defenses or something i don't know stay tuned we out.